o'clock a.m. And this is what we are after. Cracker Lake. Tomorrow night. Okay, everybody. Let the games begin. <laughs> Who's ready to go backpack in? Me. Yay! Away we go. <laughs> All right, so this is our trail. Cracker Lake, bears, mountain lions, goats, and other wildlife are in the area. And our trail begins here and comes all the way down out here to Cracker Lake. Dum dum dum. Here we go. Yep, and I'm betting that it came from all the way up there, where that waterfall is, disappearing into the schneer. Really pretty out here, really, really pretty. look at back where we've came from down in the valley and then hard left and way back around the other side of this mountain right here what do you think of the hike so far Hiv? it's a good one tiring yeah and the view from the top of this little climb looking back into the basin Cracker Lake is gonna sit oh right over that ridge right there with those trees and looks like our trail goes this direction. Probably up and around through the trees and then drop down that ridge would be my guess. Oh, beautiful little waterfall up there. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Holy cow. Check out the clouds rolling in up there at the top. big beautiful waterfall coming down right here just since we cleared tree line here we're just hiking in this big valley surrounded by all these mountain peaks that valley back there is the way we got in and I'm pretty sure when we get to the top of this hill right here and look over we're going to be able to see the most amazing lake I've ever dreamed of seeing. I can't wait. Oh, there's the lake. And there's a marmot. There's four of them. Four marmots. Wow, look at that lake though. <laughs> Beautiful. Flowers are amazing. <laughs> they're like giant black eyed Susans, only they're brown in the middle. So I guess that would make them what? Brown eyed Susans? <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Just like this lake. Holy cow. Insane. <sighs> Man, this is like. One of those one in a lifetime kind of places you just gotta come see. I can't imagine ever seeing water this kind of green again anywhere else without comparing it to this place. Beautiful Packer Lake. He's running up the trail. He's coming for you, Star. So what is that right there? No, what is that building? It is the toilet. We have found. We have found the big marmot. No, it's a marmot, not a wolverine. See, like I'm a marmot, not a wolverine. I can't really see it. He's leading the way to camp. This way, guys. Follow me. Woo. We have arrived. Food prep. Three tent pads. Tent or bear pole. And an amazing view. Out. Standing. What do you think, Mindy? Phew. Got the tent set up down there. Beautiful lake. Waterfall. Glaciers, glaciers, glaciers. Hungry heaven. Is it any good? What about you, Mindy? How's your teriyaki noodles? Delicious. Mm. Got 
the stove rolling here. Stars ramen bomb, jelly beans ramen bomb, my tuna stuff. Yeah. He's good. We got a little weather coming in. The skies are starting to look angry. Racing the clouds. Have you ever seen water so turquoise? In all your life. I have not. There's a whole lake full of it. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. in. We are slowly being boxed in by the cloud layers all around us. So, this mountain over here is called Allen Mountain. We might end up sleeping in the clouds. <laughs> I bet they'll come down. Yeah. <laughs> that is a glacier right there. That is glacier number one up here in this area. It doesn't seem to have a name on any of the maps. So. Just behind this embankment right here, there is a valley. And there is a, another glacier back behind there. And then, of course, the great big one that is front and center stage here. Saya Glacier. Which is that whole area you see right there in the picture. We're going to test the uh, durability of these tents pretty good this evening. <laughs> Good morning. It is a very cloud-packed morning this morning. <laughs> I stormed and stormed last night, put me right to sleep, and uh, it's been a, well, I'll put it this way, since we got here, I've not had a good night's sleep yet, not a full one. And so, yeah, I would say by probably 7.30 last night, 8 o'clock at the latest, I was gone. That rain put me to sleep, and I never did get back up again. But this morning, the lake is perfectly calm. You can see these reflections shining off of it. So cool. Alright, I promised Star I'd wake her up so she could see this too. We are trying to find some water this morning. <laughs> Not the green kind or the blue green kind. There's Starsky enjoying the sunrise. For size reference of this place. Still socked in by lots of clouds. There's blue sky shining through. And I think I just found a place to get some water.
There's some water. I don't know what that is, but something right in there left its car alarm on. Let's see how the water looks behind us now. Still can't see the shot I was looking for. Gonna have to go higher. <laughs> Snow in the end of July. Pretty hard. Let's go get some water. Sorry about that. Whew. <sighs> well, there's the rock star we're sitting on. I believe she's moved on. I don't see her down there anymore. Maybe she is, I just can't see her. Here's our views. Porta potty's in that little group of trees down there. I'm way up here on this mountainside. Keep that out, y'all. Beautiful sun shining up there on the rock face. Clouds hanging out below it. Gorgeous. There, Star. She's down here staring at me. Hi, Star! Beautiful camp, and the clouds have really started socking in here. <laughs> we have lost all of our mountain peaks. <clears throat> They're up there. They're just uh, behind all those clouds. We've about lost the Saya Glacier, glacier up there. <laughs> Crazy, man. This is so stinking beautiful. Well, I can tell the sun is shining because I can see it coming up through the pass down there. But up here in the top, We are totally surrounded in the clouds. I think when I was a kid, they used to tell me, get your head out of the clouds, John. Now look where I am. Ha! <laughs> Beautiful. Head all in the clouds and loving it. Where else do you see beautiful lakes? Awesome mountain views. 
and amazing glaciers and snow fields. Fantastic. No fishing here. I would have never imagined there was fish in there the way that water looks, but uh, apparently there's bull trout. Kind of a uh, diagram of the layout. No horses down there, please. And uh, here's an old mining site that Star was telling me about. Right down over that second ridge there. So I think I'm going to walk down there and check it out this morning. And then go on down there and get a closer look at this water up close and personal. And uh, maybe see if we can climb some of this waterfall over here. It's disappearing into the clouds. It looks teeny tiny from this side, but I got a feeling when you get over there, it's at least by all the noise it's making, <clears throat> it's bigger than it appears. Plus, I need to fill my water bottle. So, let's go uh, check out this old mine. All the sleepy heads are still down there sleeping. A little different perspective on the lake and on camp. So, over here you can see there's the girls' tent. Mindy and I's tent to the right. Food prep area, kind of right in the center right now. Bear hang pole. Trail in comes right over that little ridge right there. <laughs> well, I was going to get my water out of that creek right there, but looking at it, that's a darker shade of color than what even the lake is. So, in fact, you can see where it's spilling into the lake right there, and its color is turning the rest of the lake that color. So I think instead of getting some glacier melt water over here, I'm going to go up here where I can see some other glacier melt water that looks like it's been filtered a little better by the rocks. Good water. Man, I wish we could see the glacier. You can just barely see the glacier starting, trying to peek through the fog back there. Not a bad look at back at camp. A couple of glacial fields here that I've passed in the lower right. The amazing Cracker Lake out there. You can kind of see the mining site. We'll uh, check that out on our way back camp. There's camp. Out there. Kind of in the center of your screen now. And uh, we're getting closer. The glacial field is right up there. And I just wanted to stop for a second as, you, as I'm climbing this. The climb's not bad. Like, I mean, it's steep. And it's a long ways up here, but like the surface, the footing's not bad. I've, I've climbed a lot worse. But as you're climbing, you're kind of just looking down at the rocks and meandering and periodically you stop and look up and make sure you're on course. And it gives me a lot of time to really study the rocks on the mountains that I climb. And this one, this has got to be the most interesting kinds of rocks. I've seen more different types of rock 
from that sandstone looking stuff like that to the marble looking stuff like that and that to crazy looking stuff like this that's a rock with like ridges and it almost looks painted uh, it's crazy we've got like this black volcanic looking stuff uh, some of these are just really crazy looking like this guy look at this some of this stuff it's almost pink I mean I have just never seen such a wide variety of types of rock it's like speckled stuff that you see in different places some of these ones with little tracers on them like this your typical sedimentary rock right here with all the layers of sediment exposed different kind of sedimentary rock right here this was a different kind of this is almost like that sandstone like they have down in the Red River Gorge so yeah whole talus field full of an abundance of different types of rocks really really cool Whew. we made it to the glacier the lake way down there clouds drifting all around us here really really neat so for those of you that want to see what a glacier looks like up close and personal they look dirty they have tons these little dark spots these are rocks little little rocks that are speckled and rock shavings speckled all throughout the whole thing here especially down at the bottom and it explains why the ground looks like this as the glacier is receding and coming back it's melting and it's leaving all this stuff in its wake and I got to assume it's just the the freeze cycle that's breaking down the mountain and causing it to uh, crack and crumble like this it's really neat to see the different layers of the mountain like here you look at this ground there's a little bit of black in there but it's mostly these different colors of rocks and just like right here all of a sudden notice the ground changing and look at how dark it gets and this is like a darker shale layer that got pushed out right here um, yeah really cool you can kind of see the ravines that the glaciers left as it's retreated and I am just so happy and so excited that I got to get here and see a glacier up close and personal before they're gone and you can tell I mean this whole valley right here used to be filled with snow <laughs> this glacier used to fill this whole mountainside and now it's been retreated back to this massive snow field which is probably pretty deep up there I mean you can kind of see down in there around the edges of the rock so I would imagine that this section right here in the middle is probably, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 feet deep. Right out there, uh, right in that area where it's at its deepest. But I don't know, I'm just guessing. I am no glacial expert. <laughs> I just know I'm the, the guy that's been blessed and that has been allowed to come out here and see this firsthand for himself. Well, we went back to camp after we saw that awesome glacier because the phone battery died. So I got my battery charged and as promised, here's what's left of the mining operation. Uh, <clears throat> there's a little marmot. Oh, there's another one. I see two so far. The girl said there's a marmot family that lives down here. Marmot miners. Oh. Those, are the, those are two of the They're going to go in the 
too. And this very interesting. Look at this. Indianapolis, Indiana. Any bears? Nope. <laughs> There's wood in there. One final look. We're packed up and about to head out. Make this trip back to the truck. One final farewell to the beautiful Saya Glacier, Mount Saya, and Cracker Lake. Our tribe headed this way. Until next time. Be a little first person POV of what some of these trails can be like to walk through here. You know, I understand why the girls are hollering hey bear so much. <laughs> Gets a little thick in places. What a pretty bird call. Skies are growing angry again. Amazing. Oh, here comes the rain. Well, amazing is all I can really say about this backpacking trip. It was awesome. Um, with the rain coming in. We're going to go ahead and call it an end. We'll catch you next time. We did it! Victory! How do you feel, Hev? My legs hurt. What do you guys think? It was worth the hike, but my legs were awesome. What a fun trip, Cracker Lake. Until next time.